Hey, what's up, fam? My name is Brandon. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. We love to focus on financial personal development. Now, family, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I hope your week is off to a great start. As you can see by the call option that I'm currently in, my day is off to a great start. But before I get into the video, I want to give you a word out of a book I'm currently reading, The Magic of Thinking Big, a phenomenal book, and I think everyone should have this book in their library. Now, if you're interested in this book, the link is in the description. All right, so hit that that subscribe button why i give you guys a word all right use big positive cheerful words and phrases to describe how you feel when someone asks how do you feel today and you respond with a i'm tired have a headache wish it were saturday don't feel so good you actually make yourself feel worse practice this at this very simple point it has tremendous power every time someone asks you how are you or how are you feeling today? Respond with just wonderful, thanks. And you, or say great or fine. Say you feel wonderful at every opportunity and you will begin to feel wonderful and bigger too. Become a known person who always feel great. It wins more friends. So when you projecting that positive energy out there, you're gonna get that same positive energy back. And as a result, it's going to make you feel better, do better, act better. Right. And so, um, you know, that's the fundamental um, case for building self-confidence. OK, the magic of thinking big, awesome and am awesome and amazing book. I think everyone should have this book in their library. All right, family. Today is Election Day, November 8th. The market is is acting favorably because whenever the sitting pr president uh, whether it's a Republican or a Democrat, the opposite party will win the House or the Senate. Right. And so there are a lot of seats up. So more than likely, based on history and what has happened every midterm election, by the end of the night, we will have possibly a Republican House and Republican Senate or one or the other. OK. All right. And so the market is acting favorably because of that. And a lot of reasons why is, you know, we vote for one guy, but then we're unhappy with him and then we want change. So people are people are unhappy with high food prices, high gas prices, high uh, taxes, you know, high, higher interest rates on credit cards, higher interest rates on mortgages. A lot of people can can uh, can't get approved for mortgages anymore. People can't afford the balloon payments anymore. So there are a lot of unhappy people for various reasons and so the market is responding positively because they think that you know it may be a republican house republican senate and we may begin to balance some things out or possibly move some things in a better direction as far as e economic wise okay but again you know people are never happy we're going to see how things go okay now but for me i was paying attention to the market i'm up currently 11.9 and so the market opened up really, really nice. So we gapped up really, really nice at the open. And so we came back down. We settled 10 o'clock. I jumped in, placed my put option. Now, I went out 30 days because I had a meeting to go to and I really didn't want to, um, you know, for it to fall too far. And next thing you know, I'm down, you know, 20 percent, 30 percent, things of that nature. And so I didn't want to place a put. Uh, I didn't want to place a stop limit because sometimes, man, you know, the market is so wacky that. It'll come down, hit my stop and go right back up. So I've had that happen numerous of times. And so I placed my uh, my call option here around 10 o'clock and I rolled this thing up. And now what I do is I put in a stop. Right. So I have a stop. So if it comes down back to uh, 383.90, I'm going to automatically sell. I'm going to take the profits that I made from here all the way up. So as of right now, today is a winning day. Now, I don't know how long this will continue, but we have a nice, nice uptrend and it could be um, another pop in the morning. All right. We're going to wait. We're going to see how things go. But as of right now, family, things are looking very positively. But remember, the economy is in bad shape. The economy is in bad shape. And when we take a look long term. Right. So this is the weekly chart. So we take a look at the weekly chart. We are still trending down, right? And so we 
we have day we have weeks where we have huge downturn we have reversed it upside huge downturn reverse it upside down up down up and so this is a cycle that repeats itself but ultimately we keep going lower and lower and lower okay so just because the market is up you know, a couple of days here and there, that doesn't mean we're going to change the direction of the market. There is a lot of bad news ahead of us. 2023 is going to be rough, but while we finish out 2022, let's, uh, let's finish out 2022 strong. All right, family, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hey, please hit that like, subscribe button. Keep coming back for more wealth, building information. Peace.